Hey, what's up my friend? This is Anders Larsson and in this video I want to share what I learned from Dave Sharp on how to think like a millionaire. Just a quick info about Dave if you don't know who he is. Dave Sharp is the founder of Legendary Marketer, which is the system that I'm using to make money. So I was watching his video where he gave me specific steps and detailed instructions on how to think like a millionaire. And these are very powerful, so please stick around and I will share all of them with you right now. Now. So most of us starting out with online marketing don't really know how to think like a successful online marketer. In the beginning we become drawn to the opportunity to change our financial situation and transform ourselves to become successful. However, in our journey when it comes to how to find mental techniques what many of us will discover by ourselves that we wish we had earlier is what Dave is sharing with me now. So the reason we stay poor is because we think like a poor person. Our behaviors are modeled from family and other people around us that are not wealthy and also have a poor mentality. They didn't have people teaching them so how can you expect them to teach you to think wealthy. So the first thing we need to do is to try to remodel or rewire our brain because it is actually possible to do that with repetition. David tells how that made a big impact on his success. So we are talking about habits and behaviors and the trick is to every day set time aside to think what your long-term goals are. What are you trying to achieve in the long run? It is important to not focus on the short-term goals. And in fact, if you focus on the long-term goals, you become much more productive and results will come much faster. So right now, I want you to begin to think for yourself. What is your agenda? What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? What are you doing next year and what will you do in 10 years? Pause this video for a while until you have done thinking. Alright, let's continue. Thinking it long term will have your success compound and get you in momentum that takes you faster to your goals. The next step is to visualize what you want to achieve in a positive way. If you, for example, are afraid of public speaking, then you visualize it as if you are owning the moment and that you are doing amazing and people are excited and inspired by your speech. The worst thing you can do is to see yourself failing and being scared and running away from the audience. Some people say that they are more afraid of public speaking than death. And if you are one of those people and want to own your fears, then you have to repeat your visualization in a positive way. Take a moment right now and envision yourself in a conference room or at an event center and see yourself from outside, how the audience will see you. See your body movement and imagine that you have a confident posture, right? Pause the video for a short time and do this right now. So let's continue. Remember what you just did and do this training over and over again. Every day before the actual moment you have a speech or you share something to your audience. It can be recording a video or speaking to a live audience. If you kind of feel that you have been there before and it becomes like a deja vu, it is thanks to this training. It is not so bad really. I can handle it. You become better and better. Many successful people have a habit of practicing this training, so why not make this your habit? Actually, most of us have a habit of visualizing already, but many times we do this unconsciously and in a negative way. For example, if you are a man and you imagine asking a girl for her number and you stutter and become awkward and you imagine that she says no. Most men imagine this happening to them and that is why they become so nervous. Practice in visualizing can be more powerful than actually doing it physically. And this makes sense in that you prepare for it mentally instead of just going out there without a plan and become distracted because you have not thought things through. So 
here is another thing I learned from Dave Sharp. You cannot think yourself into a new way of acting. You must act yourself into a new way of thinking. I mean, for example, you cannot sit and start to force yourself to think like, there's a Lamborghini in my driveway. You can't sit and think, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy. The reason for that is that if you have a poor mindset or lack of positive mentality, and you know that you can't afford that stuff, then you can't change that by thinking yourself out of that. Instead, you need to change by acting yourself out of that. Act as if you are successful. Think of your body posture and have your shoulders back as if you are successful. Transform your mindset into thinking like someone successful by acting yourself out of a poor mindset. For example, when I began my journey, I knew that I wasn't successful. I knew that I was poor, but because I learned what components I needed and I knew what to do, I started to read and learn and improve my skills. I got so many ideas to talk about that I wanted to share. I really feel in my heart that I want to help people and this made me act in a certain way. Becoming the person giving help and serve other people. So I slowly transform myself into becoming closer and closer to success. So act yourself into successful thinking and by taking small steps you rewire your brain by just doing it. Now the next thing you need to do is to make this a habit and make it stick. Researchers from University College London did a test with 96 people involved and they wanted to see how long it would take to make a habit stick. They did a test for 12 weeks and found out that it took an average of 66 days to make a habit stick. Keep in mind though that this can vary. For example, from those 96 people it took from 18 to a whopping 254 days until a habit stuck. So to make the habit stick it has to become instinctual. Similar to getting up early and eat, sleep, train at a certain time. You have a lot of habits already and some of them are good and some of them are bad. You maybe didn't notice when they become habits because well it takes time but basically you have to create new habits in order to become successful in your online marketing journey. I'll bet that just by doing the things on a consistent basis and adding the tips I just mentioned to you in this video that you will pick the new habits without really thinking much about it. There is no more reason to keep your bad habits. Again, just by taking action on a consistent basis, you build a structure and you repeat the process day after day, doing the same things and it gets ingrained in your brain. All right, this was the end of this video. And if you enjoy this video, then please subscribe and press like. Also, leave a comment below and click the link in the description box if you want to join my free video training that will teach you how to become successful online. I wish you have a great day, take care and see you in my next video. Bye bye.